Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gina and I'm glad you're here. Today we're making salmon patties or salmon cakes, maybe you know them as salmon burgers. Anyway, I'll see you in the kitchen. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn the burner on to about medium and I'm going to put in a couple tablespoons of oil. I'm using grapeseed oil. let that get hot. So I have a can of salmon. I'm going to drain that. You can remove the skin and bones if you desire. You don't have to. I'm just taking this gray, this black stuff out. That's the skin. See, the bones, you're cooked up to mush. I mean, I guess you could leave them in there. It might have some nutrients in it. They just crumble, but I usually just take them out. I'm just flaking this up a little bit. Okay. I have half a cup of onions diced up. Here I have a half teaspoon of dill as well as a tablespoon of mustard and a tablespoon of lemon juice. Now sometimes I use Dijon mustard but I only had this prepared mustard, this mustard, regular yellow mustard today so that's what I'm using but you can uh, definitely get a little creative with that. I have a fourth cup of cornmeal. And some people use a whole sleeve of crackers um, instead of the cornmeal. And that you can definitely do that. I usually um, use what I have and then see if it needs any uh, crackers and just kind of add it um, according to what it can take. Okay. Now I'm going to whisk up a couple of eggs. Some people prefer to use breadcrumbs in their, their salmon patties instead of, you know, the cornmeal. I like the crispiness of the cornmeal is the reason why I use that. Uh, you could use breadcrumbs if you'd rather. You could use flour and cornmeal, a mixture of that. You can get creative with it. You just have to make sure that they're going to hold together. When you pat them out in patties, you have to just make sure that they're going to stay together. Okay. I'm just going to add these in like, you know, in increments of five and just see what they can take. These are whole grain crackers. Um, I just like the flavor of these, but you can use just the regular saltines. It doesn't have to be the whole grains.
you do get them just a little bit dry, you can add um, you can add some of this fish broth. You can add a little lemon juice. You can use a little bit of milk. You know, as long as you go in, you know, incrementally, you should know, you should be able to tell uh, if they're going to be able to hold together. Something like this. And you can make these the size that you want. If you want them to be bigger, you can. If you want them to be thicker, you can. You just kind of make them according to the size of patties that you want. And then you're just going to brown them on each side. This was something my mom said that she had quite often. And this was how she taught me to make them. And that's what I've continued doing. From what I understand, it's, it's packed with protein too, so that's a good thing. It's going to be a little smaller, it looks like. Might have made this other one over here just a little big. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys can see the golden color there. That's kind of actually just the perfect color. And you want this for both sides. And as soon as it gets that color on both sides, it's done. Let's see. Oh, that's a pretty color. Alright. Let me take them all up. And these you can you can serve them on bun, like a like a burger, you know, with lettuce, tomato, onions, if that's what you like. Um, today, I'm serving my, I made a pot of beans and fried potatoes and mixed greens, and I just thought this would be something that would go well with that. Whatever you're in the mood for. There we are, guys. Anyway, be kind to one another. Thanks for watching.